When I was younger, I had to do a lot of drive cycles for dealerships and getting the cars ready for emission tests. And I really struggled because I was constantly checking the monitors to see if it was complete. And so I would be driving and rescanning to see if the car was not ready for me to go get the vehicle tested. And in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you a tip that I learned from a smog technician in my earlier years. And I'm gonna share that with you guys. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So this review is gonna be about scan tools that actually auto refresh on their own, which means when you're doing a drive cycle, you don't have to go and refresh to see if the status of the monitor has changed. And there's not a lot of tools that allow you to do this that are under $30. That's why I'm doing a review on this AL329. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the features about it and why I like it. I recently made a video where I actually discussed not owning an OBD2 reader like this. And I made one exception, which was gonna be for this AL329. And I get a lot of questions about this particular tool. So in this video today, I wanted to demonstrate why this is one of my favorite OBD2 readers for setting monitors. And I'm going to show you guys what I like about this and how it makes it really easy to go ahead and check the status of your monitors without having to constantly refresh the screen as you're driving. So what I like about the AL329 is the fact that it has an IM button right here for inspection monitors. When you click this, it'll give you this nice colorful chart right here that will let you know that all your monitors are ready and if you guys hear that beep every time that beep occurs it's doing a, a refresh and it's checking the monitors again to see if they're ready so i like this a lot and i personally like to go and turn off that feature because i like to visually see it instead so before i show you how to go and turn all that off let me talk a little bit about the display and the simplicity of this so there's only four options on here. We have the OBD2 function, and this will work on any vehicle 1996 and newer. Ready test, which is basically going to be the IM monitor button right here. We have a setup, and we have an about section. So let's go to setup here. And in here, we can configure languages, units. I like to go down to right here where it says status beep and turn this off. And if you live in a state where they allow you to go ahead and not have two of the inspection monitors ready, this could be your catalyst and your EVAP, you can come in here and set the allowed amount of monitors that are incomplete. So you could set it to two or you could set it to even three. I'm going to leave mine at zero and I'm going to go back to the previous screen. And over here, let's check out this OBD2 function here. So this has a decent OBD2 reader. And this is not something I would actually use to go and buy a vehicle. As I showed in the other video, this can actually cost you a lot of money if you rely on an OBD2 reader instead of a scan tool. And over here, we're able to check the automatic transmission and the engine. Let's check on the engine portion of this. And we could read codes, erase codes, and view live data. Let's go to live data. The live data on this is not bad considering this tool is under 50 bucks i looked at it last night it was under 30 dollars so definitely not a whole lot of lag and you're able to go and check out at least 40 different fields of data it's right there let's go to the previous screen and now we could also check freeze frame data so if you had a check engine light on and you weren't sure what the conditions were like, you can go ahead and view that right here. We have the IM button again, inspection monitor readiness, vehicle information, module present, and data log and previous menu. Let's go to previous menu. And this is also able to check automatic transmissions. I'll leave you guys a link to the video that I'm referring to where you should not rely on this to actually buy a vehicle. So let's go to engine. And now I'm gonna go ahead and erase all the codes. And now that all the codes are being erased, you'll notice that the green check mark turned into a yellow exclamation mark. I've selected the IM button right here. Now that we have erased all the 
drive monitor data, you'll notice that all the monitors are incomplete. And if you're struggling with a particular monitor that is not setting on your vehicle, such as the catalyst or the oxygen sensor, I have a whole bunch of videos on how you can go ahead and complete a drive cycle. I'll leave you guys links in the video description and also at the end of this video. And what I like to do as I'm driving is take the AL329 and place it somewhere I can actually easily see it. As I'm driving, what will happen is that each of the monitors gets checked about every 10 to 15 seconds. And as soon as I get a green check mark on that particular monitor, I will go ahead and move on to the next monitor. If you guys have a Toyota or a Honda, a GM, I actually have drive cycles for each one of these makes. And with the AL329 and those drive cycle videos, you're going to be able to go and get your drive cycle completed in no time. And I have a lot of helpful tips. Now, let me show you guys what it looks like when you're actually driving. And one of these monitors completes. So let me show you guys this in action. I have it plugged in. I'm driving. If you want to have the beep on, you can have the beep on. And as you're driving, what we'll do is we'll go through and rescan automatically about every 10 seconds. And when a monitor becomes complete, it will go through and turn green from red and you then know you are good. You can also see that my permanent diagnostic codes have already cleared up. So this makes monitoring all that information very, very easy and it's visually satisfying when you can just look down and see a green check mark to let you know that you're ready. And it's very affordable. You can see that the AGR, the very bottom right hand one, just went from red to green. And if you live in a state like California, you're gonna need all of these monitors ready. So if you need help with that, don't forget to check out the links in the video box down below, as I'll break down every one of these components and show you how you're gonna pass an emissions test on the very first try. And check that out. I got back home from my short little drive and I have all but one monitor incomplete, which is the EVAP which normally takes the longest. I hope you found that to be helpful and I'll have links on all the drive cycles in the video description box down below. And make sure you check out the video on why you should own an OE style scan tool like this versus one of these OB2 readers if you're thinking about buying a car because this will save you thousands in the long run and you'll make sure you get a better deal and you can use the information that you gain from this to negotiate a better offer. And I wanna end the video by thanking Hussein from Hayward, California, who was a smog technician. And he taught me a lot of the techniques that I've showed you guys over the years on getting your vehicle's inspection monitors ready. So wherever you're at, Hussein, I hope you're doing good, buddy, and I wish you all the best. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And if there's something that I left off in this video, please let me know what it was so I can go ahead and incorporate it into a future video. Thank you so much and I'll leave you guys links at the end of this video that you can click on if you guys want to learn more about this AL329 and also in the video description box down below. Make it a great day.